All right, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Indiana Smith here, and this is my 2024 Texas history class. A bunch of seventh graders are going down to the river today. There's actually water in the river. I'm surprised it was nearly completely dry when I was down here a couple weeks ago. I guess they got some rain. We didn't. Guys, we're going to have a great field trip. Yeah! Yeah! Right. Now, do you know the difference between a good field trip and a great field trip? Yeah. No. No. Okay, a good field trip is when you come back with the same number of kids you left with. A great field trip is when they're the same kids. So let's have a great field trip today, okay? Let's go! I'm so excited! Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's see you go. Look out, guys. Here we go. Go. Nice. All right, so we are coming down the bridge and getting in here. A little more water than I thought it'd be, but a lot of gravel downstream. Last of our parents are making their way down. All right, everyone gather in with me for a second. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to be heading down this way. Let me tell you a little bit about the river while we're here. Um, this was another little winding East Texas Creek. It was about like the Sabine River where it goes through Greenville. It carried a lot more water than it could hold when it rained. And so these farmlands on either side of the river would get out of their banks and flood uh, from hill to hill. So in 1928, almost 100 years ago, they hired the Corps of Engineers to come here and straighten the river channel so it would drain a little faster. And when they cut this new channel for the river originally, it was about 20 feet wide and about 10 feet deep. They just cut it with a drag line straight through here. And now, as you can see, it's 100 yards wide and about 40 feet from the top of the bank up there. All that's been done by erosion, okay, over the last century. Um, and, but that erosion is what's turned into a treasure trove for fossil hunting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and go that way, go down this bank, and you can see some really big gravel bars down there. That's where we'll focus on looking. So let's go find some treasures. Okay, this is a little juvenile water snake. Now water snakes will bite. <laughs> But, see what you got there. A uh, little piece of, uh, that's just mudstone, I think. Anyway, but yeah, so this is a baby water snake. Okay, guys, that's a little shrill for my viewers there. All right. Okay, we got our first shark's tooth of the day right here. Hey, that's mine. Uh, <laughs> I saw it. I got well, it. Actually, I got you saw it. Well, here, there's going to be plenty more, guys. Don't fight over them. Wash it off. All right, so we got our another good shark's tooth here. Good job, buddy. Thanks. You kind of missed out on the last one, so you got that one for yourself. Yep. <laughs> little video. All right, so we got a nice shark's tooth here. That's a good one. All right, we have the first arrowhead of the day, found by one of our parents. Nice slender Gary point. Good, fine. These little guys are just everywhere down here. Watch them go. Is he going to hold still and let me catch him? What do you know? <laughs> he thought he was hidden, and he's not. Oh, don't worry, little guy. I'm not going to hold you for long. He's a little bigger than the last one we got. Little western ribbon snake. They are all over down here. Love these guys. What you got, Siobhan? It's a frog. All right. He's got a frog, and he's going to meet the worm. <laughs> You're going to introduce the frog to the worm. Okay. I think that worm's a little big for him. So Luke sat down to take a break and was scratching in the gravel at his feet. And look what he found. Man, I was so close. That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the fun part of the river, taking the kids down here. Just let them spread out and discover things. They may discover rock climbing. They may discover a shark's tooth. They may discover a little baby water snake. It's all about the joy of discovering nature. All right, we found a rare Spanish doubloon with the dinosaurs on it. This is proof that the Spanish knew about the dinosaurs. At least that's what Chaz says, right Chaz? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so second arrowhead of the day right here next to this cinder block. A 3,000-year-old artifact next to a 50-year-old artifact. We got an arrowhead. Broken. No, it's broken. Yeah, the base is broken off on it. It's made out of some good material. Cool. Hey, guys. Did y'all have fun? Yeah. <laughs> That's a pelvis from a cow. Oh my gosh. I hope y'all brought dry clothes. Otherwise, you're going to be eating in the parking lot. I did it. Our last little ribbon snake of the day. I caught that snake. Unless we catch one between here and the bridge. I love those little stripy dudes, man. They're special. No, last time you dropped it. Now, guys, we do need to let them go before we go back to the cars. You can't take them home. It's hot. <laughs> Okay, we're back at the cars, the kids are changing, and then we're all going to go to bronze for a bit of ice cream. Let me show you what I got. One of our boys, Anthony, wasn't able to come today. He had to take a trip out of state for a funeral, so I picked up a few things for him. I'll probably give him my broken arrowhead, a couple of shark's teeth. Found one cool little set of three vertebrae. Everything else I gave to the kids, and the best arrowhead of the day was actually found by Miss Nelson, one of our parents and a former student of mine herself. Uh, but uh, she got a really nice Gary point. Overall, though, pretty nice day on the river, especially considering uh, the conditions. All right, well, I'm actually going to be back at it with a tour group tomorrow, so we'll see what I find then. So this is the best part of the field trip, going to Brahms, right? Yep. All right, glad y'all had fun today. All right, guys, well, first of all, thanks for coming with us on our field trip today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everybody have a good time? Yeah! All right, favorite thing? Worms. Worms. Yeah. All right. Favorite thing? Rocks. <laughs> Your favorite thing? Arrowheads. Arrowheads. All right. We had a good time. There was rocks, snakes. worms, frogs, arrowheads, snakes, mud. Uh, all in all, a good field trip. And I think we're coming back with all the same kids we left with. So it was a great field trip. Woo! All, right. yeah. all together, guys, like, share, and subscribe, right? Like, like share, share, and subscribe. subscribe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>